Hi guys, Violet Studios here. Um, I'm doing a review on all the stars to be honest. Um, I'll explain why later. But for now I'm just going to say I haven't done a review in like two months. Um, I'm back so... <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm back on YouTube again now. I've just been really busy lately. History project to do, dinosaur project to do, loads of homework. I've just got lots of stuff going on at the moment in my life. There's more to my life than when I go to um, Just move back so I can fit them all in. I'm reviewing them all because, well, first of all, just say I've got a lot of reviews to do. All these on the shelf here. I'm not going to review the Glutarian or oh, those three titans up there. Just every, I'm just going to review everything you see on the shelf, which is all my marks. Um, the reason I'm doing a review on all of them is because I've tried to do a review of Takanova four times and it never worked, so I'm hoping this is going to work. So I'm reviewing them all, oh, so I'll have to be quick. So I'm going to start off with, um, I'm not actually going to start off with no, Tafan. Now, what's happened in the story is, is blah. He has uh, been transformed by the Mask of Life back into his old... Um, like original form. He has to find the golden armor so he can change the tide of battle. Um, it's a pretty good backstory and it's a really good set. It does look like a Jota who's got the Howl Mask, the Flame Sword, although this is a lot better. Um, so yeah, it really does look like him. Although, just this is actually a little bit better to be honest. Um, so I'll just start off. Uh, new feet which is really good and they're separate pieces to like that piece that connects them that piece which is good really um, they gave us the feet as separate pieces which also have a little cross pieces I don't know what they're called um, regular of my torn legs just a little longer than some of the others um, regular of my torn body this oops this new piece, which I like, DK Head as Shaggy calls it. Um, that's really nice and that fits on perfectly in orange. Orange of my and limbs, pre bent there, so that's a problem. Con really. Um, another TK piece, although this goes on his arm and this one's in red and that fits pretty well. Uh, Glutarian hands, woohoo! I love Glutarian hands. Flame Sword, which is Akaz, just recolored, um, and Nuvarama. People say that ruins the colour scheme, I don't really think it does. Can I just, um, can I just say, think of these sets as being tower-sized. Imagine them being tower-sized. They're not, just imagine them. So yeah, regular avatar and build, that sort of ruins it, but it's pretty good. You got your um, old Howl Mask back, although this one has the cross to fit in there. Uh, of my toe and head. Boom. People say this can't fit on Toa Metro heads. It can, trust me. I've done it before. It fits. Um, I guess that bit sticking out there sort of ruins it. Here's the thing. No one's pointed this out, surprisingly enough. Um, let's just bring the back in closer. You can see his chin sticking out. No one's complained about that, but I noticed it. It does ruin it, I think, in my opinion. Um, see, that's Tahuda. Um, oh, sorry, gold piece. Golden Howl to fit onto there. So yeah, that's good. Um, just move to the side. Now I'll review Grush. Grush, 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 Grush. I'll do his golden piece first, which is this. This is going to be a two part review, by the way, guys. So, um, now, yeah, feet again. Yeah, regular limbs. Although this time he has this piece, which doesn't look like a TK head. Uh, it's kind of weird, actually. And, um, and looks sort of. Wrong, when you do that. Even more wrong when you do that. 
Um, now what I didn't like is it has grass blades in silver. I mean, it's good for mocking, but an even worse thing is they're the same size as original grass. And it just looks stupid on a little guy. Um, especially when you put it in to... Um, how do you do this? I forgot... Um, Shield mode. <laughs> that just looks kind of funny actually. <laughs> um, see, don't know why I did it. No blended helmet, but it's good for mocking. And green eyes instead of red, but I actually like them green. So, yeah. That's Crash Doom. So, yeah. I recommend him. I recommend him all the Outlast sets. Do not mock with them, people. If you are a true Bionicle fan, you will not mock with them. Now, uh, I might just have time to do... No, I won't. Okay, um, I'll finish this up in my next review, which will be a, no, the second part of this. So, uh, I'll see you soon.